What up, y'all? What's going on? Good morning, everybody. So today, man, we're going to talk about Jamel Charlo versus Tim Zoo. It's slated for January 28, 2023. And um, this is a good-ass fight, man. Um, but before we get into the fight, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, the first thing I want to say is, I'm wondering, when when is they going to give Jamel Charlo his credit, bruh? When the fuck is he going to be on the pound for pound list? When is he going to be talked about like he's supposed to be talked about? I'm talking about, not on YouTube, I'm talking about with these goddamn people. That's what I'm talking I'm talking about with these people who be coming up with these pound for pound lists and... You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I know why, or at least part of the reason why. I think part of the reason why is because how Jamel Charlo act, the fact that he don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Um, he uncontrollable. And they kind of like guys you can control, you know. Um, they just don't like his personality, but I like it. I think it's good for boxing. I mean, why the fuck is everybody going to act the same? You know what I'm saying? And no, the fuck, I don't think he act like Mayweather either. Because this is why I don't like him boxing. Anytime you see a dude who like cars or flashy or like different things or whatever and talk about what they got, everybody always say, oh, he trying to be like Mayweather. He trying to act like no nigga, Floyd. Mayweather ain't the only nigga that like, that like shit. That like nice shit. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit, man. He ain't the only motherfucker who like nice shit. Like, you see somebody looking a certain way, they be like, damn, he trying to be a rapper. Or he, he trying to look like rappers. Or he trying to be like dope boys because he like chains. Or No, nigga, they ain't the only ones that like nice shit that like things, bro. But... That's besides the point, right? Jamel Charlo good for boxing, man. Because he, he know how to talk. A lot of that shit be funny to me. I be laughing at it. And the nigga entertaining whenever he get on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go back right now and go watch Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison. I can watch their whole rollout. Press, press conferences, weigh-ins, end the fight. And be entertained to this day. You know what I'm saying? Straight be laughing at this shit. Because that shit was the funniest press conference I've ever seen. But this Tim Zhu dude, man, he's serious, man. He a serious guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Jamel Charlo got to take him very seriously. I think his pop's name. What's his pop? Tim Zhu. He got a boxing background. His pop's name, Kakazoo, or some shit like that. I, I forgot, but he used to be beating shit up back in the day, right? Doing his thing. He used to have Tim Zoo uh, right there with him as a baby, like a little four-year-old, like a young kid. Like, he used to have him, like, right there next to the ring at the fights, watching him the whole time, him and his fights and everything like that. So he grew up, you know what I'm saying, with his pop's. And he did his thing the whole time. And he got power, too. Tim Zoo got some power. He got some pop in them hands, man. The boy can punch. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no joke. So, the thing about Jamel Charlo is sometimes, right, he had these one-offs where he, like, it seemed like he don't take it as serious. I, I'm not sure. You would probably have to ask Jamel Charlo, but, but, like, for instance, like, with the first fight with Castano, he came out, he fought him, but he that wasn't his best, bro. That wasn't his best. Even when he fought Tony the first time, that wasn't his best either. He had these, like, one-offs sometimes. Where it ain't his, but then he come back, and you see a whole fucking different motherfucker. Light on his feet, he moving, he, yeah. That, that's what I want to see from Jamel out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate. But I understand shit be, you know, happening. You know what I'm saying? So, I get it. But 
You gotta take this motherfucker serious. <laughs> he can hit. <laughs> they get punched. Tim Zoo can punch. So this is a good ass fight, man. And this only adds to Jamel Charlo hell of a record at uh one fifty four. Because he pretty much ran through the whole weight class. Well, not pretty much he did. <laughs> Tim Zoo will only make it even better than what it was. He got all the fucking belts. Time to defend him now and not be, because usually you get real comfortable and niggas just come through, take your shit. You got to be a shark in this shit. You got to be a shark in business, shark in that ring. Like, a nigga come uh, take your shit. When Jerry Hurd went in that motherfucker, he fought J-Rock, nigga got bougie as hell. He was so bougie, that nigga was, he was, he was feeling, he feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Like Beyonce, that way, he was feeling himself. He was. It's okay. It's the truth. Came to D.C. Everybody out there. Everybody. Niggas, the hoes you been wanting to fuck since, since first grade. You know what I'm saying? So it just, you know, it, it just, you got to be on that shit, man. Jerry Heard, J-Rock came in, motherfucker, took his shit. Three fucking belts. Two or three belts, I forgot. But, yeah, you nigga got to take all four of them bitches if you come in there bullshit. So, Jamel got to come in there on point, on point, bro. Uh, Terrell Gachet. He dropped um, Tim Zoo. What? In the first round? With a straight right hand? Something like that, if I can remember. But Tim Zoo came back and whooped him bad. Like, like. <laughs> so, what that tells me is he's serious, but you can hurt him. You can hurt him. Especially somebody like Jamel, who, who really knocking motherfuckers out. He's the most powerful puncher in the division. So, um. And it lasts all to a round, so he come in here in crazy shape, right? He can he 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 can he can knock this dude out. He can stop him. He can stop him for sure. Terrell Gachet over the edge. You know what I'm saying? He he wasn't in his best at his best. Put it like that. He wasn't at his best. He was able to drop Tim Zoo, give him a tough fight while it lasted until what happened happened. Jamel Charlo, on the other hand, at his best. He in top shape, got all the resources that he can possibly get. Like, this is what I want to see from these guys that be here in the top. Like, I think Earl Smith's doing that shit right now, too. And that's why you're seeing a different guy. Different, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what you've seen in the Ugas fight. Because these dudes, rich as fuck, and, and they've been doing their thing for a long time, right? So... It's time to utilize the resources, man. Same way you buy them motherfucking cars, I'm buying chefs, nutritionists, goddamn anybody who, who is useful. You got to come on over to the squad. You hear me? I need you. And, it, and that's what you do. I think Jimmy Jim got all the resources. He, he can. He got to utilize that shit. Boom. Come in there. He got fucking Derek James in that motherfucker. Goddamn mad scientist. Honey and spice and everything nice. You know what I'm saying? So Derek James put everything together. He got the game plan. He got the, he, you know what I'm saying? So he got everything. So it's time to put this motherfucker in the dirt. And, and get his ass the fuck out of here. Pop some more shit. Go buy some more shit. Yeah, all that. I like that type of shit. Yeah, I don't know how a nigga can just look at him, see the Instagram pictures, nigga, got all the cars lined. I like that. Me personally, but hey, certain guys don't like cars. So, it is what it is, man. Uh, great fight, man. Jamel Charlo got a better resume than Turns Duck Crawford, by the way. And he'll knock his ass out, too, by the way. But that's another story. <laughs> That's it, that's the story. So it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. That's a fight we got coming up. Um does P is PBC still broke? I just wanna ask a question. Is is PBC still broke? <laughs> it is what it is, man. I'm out trying to do this.